In this video, I'm going to show you how to tell what you got wrong in your Excel assignment and how to, cor how to correct it. So I did an Excel assignment and I intentionally got one wrong. So I'm go you go into my lab, you do results, and then this is the one I'm looking at, Excel 5-8. I'm going to, you can see I didn't get 100%, so I'm going to click on Review. And then I'm going to go over here and click on the Excel project. Now, when I go in through results, this does not change my grade, but it'll allow me to see what I did wrong. So this will bring up this screen, which isn't too helpful, but what you need to do is grab this gray bar down here and scroll over, and you're looking for the download icon up there, the link to download. So I'm going to click download. And it is downloading a graded Excel file. So I'm going to open that up. Okay, now let me resize that so you can see everything. So it brings up this graded sheet and the default view doesn't tell us very much. First thing you need to do is click Enable Editing. Then go down to Enter Answers. So switch to the Enter Answers worksheet. Now look for the cell that has the comment in it. You'll see a little red triangle in the upper right corner of the cell. If I mouse over that, look what appears. It tells me the formula was not set to instructions D10 minus instructions D7. So that's saying that cell should be what's in those quote marks with a minus or a equal sign in front of it. And again, if I click on that cell, I can see in the formula bar here that I entered 10,000. You can't enter numbers in Excel assignments. You need to use cell references and formulas. So again, if I mouse over that, you will see that in that comment it's giving us in cell B12, the formula was not set to, so what's in the single quotes there, you put an equal sign in front of it, and then that's what the formula should be. The formula should be the D10 minus D7 from the instructions worksheet. So that's what it's telling you. If I look back here, D10 is the estimated allowance, D7 is the allowance. So it wants you to subtract those two. So that is how you tell what you got wrong. If Again, if you mouse over it, it will tell you what the formula was not set to. That's what it's looking for. But remember, you have to put a minus sign in front of that. And you can see by looking up in the formula bar after clicking in that cell what you entered. And here I entered 10,000. So what I would do then is I would get rid of this. You cannot submit the graded report. You have to go back to your original worksheet. So if I go back to my original worksheet here, and it doesn't matter which exercise this is, but I can see this is my original worksheet. I'm going back into Enter Answers. Um, I opened up the wrong one. The way I know I opened up the wrong one is it has the submission markup. So I accidentally clicked on the wrong one. I don't want to save that. I'm going to go back to the one that I wanted, right? We don't want to see the LC in front, um, but I need to go in here then, and instead of 10,000, what I need to do is I need to refer to that formula. So I'm going to do equals, and in this case, I'm going to do the estimated allowance minus the allowance account and hit enter. And then I'll do a file save as, and I'm going to save this as done 02, so I can keep track of my submissions. And then what I'm going to do, I'll close that. And then I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back into assignments, do homework. And then I'm going to go down and submit this again. And this was 5.8. I'm going to go back into my assignment. I'm going to choose that file, the done02 that I just did. And click open, upload, submit for grading. And wait a minute and then if I go back if I do homework again I'm pretty confident I got it right but if I do homework again I should see if I did it right I can answer the hundred percent question so there we go we are done with this one be sure to enter the answer the hundred percent question which is always true click OK and you are done